Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue. Today I'll be drawing a 2D flange based on this sketch. Uh, so in this sketch we have 116 inches overall uh, and then 110 and 7 eighths just for the inside diameter. Uh, and then we have 40 uh, 3 16 inch holes and I'm going to show you how to use MetQ which is our add-on for uh, AbbeyCAD and AutoCAD as well as BricsCAD and IntelliCAD. So feel free to email me or uh, call me about that if you're interested. So I'm going to do some calculations here. I'm going to uh, subtract 116 minus 110 and 7 eighths. That leaves me with 5 and uh, an eighth of an inch. And I need to divide that by 2 because I have course two uh, sides here that I need to contend with so uh, divided by two so that leaves me with a flange width of uh, 2.56 which is two and nine sixteenths of an inch now if I want to find the center line of these holes I'm going to divide that in half and that's going to give me a one and nine thirty seconds of an inch so just keep those numbers in your head while I go and go over to AbbeyCAD. I'm going to go ahead and start a new drawing. I'm going to pick the drawing sheets, which you'll see has uh, uh, quite a bit in it, actually. Um, we have configured all your limits in your drawing if you need those. And as well, we have the 8.5 by 11, the 11 by 17, and the 24 by 36 sheets already set up for you. Today we're just going to be looking at it at the eight and a half by eleven sheet, and let's go into the model space here. And by the way, if you're interested in uh, this template, uh, I'm happy to send it to you. Just contact me at info at cadavenue.com. Tell me if you're working in either uh, metric or imperial. Well, we're in this menu. I'm going to go ahead and select the. Um, I'm going to be working in half inch equals a foot. So I want to make sure my dim style is set correctly, as well the text. Uh, we have some text styles over here, so this would be half inch as well if we wanted to add any notations. I'm going to leave you a link to a video that I just did just the other week, um, and it kind of gets into how to annotate your drawing using this uh, template. So now I'm a little sidetracked. Refresh our memory here. We got uh, we've got 110 and 7 eighths uh, inside diameter. And then for the flange width, we're two and nine sixteenths, and for the center line, we're an inch and nine thirty seconds. So let's go ahead and fire up the MetQ tools, and we're gonna choose this one, the HVAC duct. If this is the first time you've used this, this is going to just go back to uh, the default settings. So we need to change the uh, that inside diameter, uh, 110 and uh, 7 eighths. You can type in the uh, fraction and we'll figure it out for you. Um, then we here we have flange plan view selected. That's important. Um, and here we have the, the flange flat, also important. And we need to go into this box, which is the connections configuration. And here, uh, the flange width, so this is where we put in the 2 and 9 sixteenths of an inch. Then we want to go in and configure our uh, fasteners. Um, here, the edge distance, remember that was an inch at 0.28, and then the diameter uh, 13 sixteenths. And we need 40 of those, 40 fasteners, and we're not concerned with this box because we're not working in a um, rectangular duct. But this is if you had a rectangle. So choose OK and then choose OK again. And now we're ready to draw that flange in. So we're just going to pick draw, choose a point here, and then we'll be able to see that in the drawing. Now if we wanted to dimension this, let's go ahead and check one one last setting. If we type in DDIM for dimension style and go into the half inch. Uh, let's change this. We're in primary units here. Let's change this to uh, fractional. That's just going to give us the inches 
only. So let's type in DLI for dimension linear and we'll do an overall and that's 116 like we wanted. And we we'll do it again. Here to do the uh, inside diameter. This is uh, being rounded off a little bit differently. And the reason why that is, if I go into DDIM and go to modify, you can see that the precision is set to quarter. We need that set to eighth. Let's, uh, let's just do that again. So that's gonna give us the dimension to match. And we could dimension the, uh, the flange width two and five eighths. So, because we're we've rounded that to the eighths, we're not getting that uh, two and uh, what was it, nine sixteenths. So now we can go ahead and plot this. So. Uh, let's toggle into the 8.5 by 11 and as you can see there's a dark border around this and that means that our paper space is uh, the whole the viewport is active so we need to just type in PS to close that and then run the plot command you could um, when you do the plot just make sure that to plot in monochrome uh, well, I have a video about that so I'm going to leave that in the notes rather than go through that again so uh, Hopefully this video has been helpful. Uh, feel free to contact me, as I mentioned, about AbbeyCAD or about the MetQ add-on for AutoCAD, BricsCAD, and IntelliCAD. Now, AbbeyCAD is if you don't have CAD. Uh, so what we do is we supply you with the CAD engine. Now, keep in mind that uh, AbbeyCAD is about a quarter of the cost of AutoCAD. Not only do we offer subscriptions, but we offer the perpetual license, which a lot of AutoCAD users miss. Uh, where you can own the license and not be in a subscription. So keep that in mind, and we'll see you in the next video. Let me know if you have any questions as well. Bye.